Hey everybody, Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. God bless every single one of y'all. I hope you have a great New Year's tonight. Be safe, be smart about it, but have a good one. God bless you. You earned it. It's been one heck of a crazy year. So I'm glad to see 2020 go out the window. Now I will update uh, as far as these warnings that we all have, including the ice storm warning and all these winter warnings and the weather that we have with this at the end, uh, right before I play it so you can see it roll into motion. But first, let me explain to you what's going on so you can see what's what I'm talking about before I play it into motion. Uh, if you've never been here before, hit that subscribe button. I'll upload every day and when there's something really serious going on where it does need to update, I will do a second video in the afternoon. That's what this is. But pretty much, I just wanted to say Happy New Year to all of you. I hope you all have a really safe New Year. I really mean that. I hope that 2021 is better for all of us. So God bless you. Let's start off in the right way because it's definitely going out with a bang. Now, this is your 500 millibar height. Let me showing you through the Euro. This is our low pressure system that we have that's going to be bringing the snowfall and everything that's going in. It was named Winter Storm John whatever it's the next winter storm we're dealing with now as you see from the 500 millibar height if we go through the next six to 12 hours it'll start moving its way across texas now as it starts moving its way across texas there's another low level uh closed load that would be behind it that's going to take it and elongate it now don't this ain't the only thing that's going to be the problem with this now when you have elongated streamlining like this is going to give it uh, uh, not only like a stall effect where it's going to be some flooding going on. That's why Texas is getting their heavy snow, but it's also going to bring some heavy winds as well. That's why a tornado warning has gotten worse as the day goes along. During the day, kind of mediocre, but as tonight goes into tomorrow is really going to be a significant event for the south. Now it's going to be pulling all this moisture up. Uh, from the Gulf and it's gonna be pulling all this warm moisture and it's gonna be digging in and it's gonna be giving it uh, Divergence which gives it a uh, lift and that lift will give it the instability that it needs to create these problems for these Tornadoes as a problem for this for Texas uh, Louisiana, Mississippi parts of Alabama and Florida panhandle uh, It does weaken as it goes away, but let me explain to you first now as this system starts moving to the east that we're following. This is the one that's dropping the heavy snowfall over Texas. And this is the reason why it's going to be heavy. is because this storm for about 12 hours is going to take about 12 hours at least to go from uh, East Texas to just across Arkansas. Because with this low level here, this closed low, it's going to pull down even further. And that's going to make a deeper trough, which will make this one sit still for a minute and spin why it figures out what's going on before it jets off into the jet stream. So for the first 24 hours, these two right here are just going to cause that stall effect. It's going to bring heavy snowfall because it is spinning counterclockwise. So while it's pulling that warm moisture up on the system from the Gulf of Mexico with all this warm air, and I'll show you the dew points, and it goes around bringing this cold air from the north down. It's turning it all in the snowfall for Texas. So that's why y'all getting that snowfall. At the same time, when it moves up into 24 to 30 hours away, this system is going to be bringing this warm air uh, all the way north, where it's going to be Oklahoma, Arkansas, also some of Texas, and, and a little bit maybe of Louisiana. It depends on the temperatures. Probably not more like tornadoes. But for Oklahoma, Texas, Kansas, Missouri, Illinois, it starts to really get bad. Uh, this is where it's going to be uh, bringing some flash flooding for Oklahoma, Arkansas, and it's going to be bringing ice for Kansas, Missouri, and Illinois. And there's actually an ice storm warning now for central Illinois. And I will go through that uh, at the end of the video, of course. Uh, do me a favor. If you like it so far, hit that like button, guys. I'm trying hard for y'all so y'all can see what's going on. Now, when this system comes around, it's going to bring this. Let me show you with the temperatures. When this system comes around with this warm air, and you can see it. This is six-hour jump. It's still dropping a lot of snowfall. This low-pressure system is going to slowly move over while it's sucking all this warm moisture and dew points up into the north of the system so it's funnel it giving it energy six hours away from that is still dropping heavy snowfall in texas so this is hours and hours of snowfall and the reason why you got freezing rain on the north side is because this this warm air is on a lower level it's on the it's on the base so it's it's warming the snow and the and the uh, ice back down to to rain and this was uh before that it was freezing ground temperatures and i'll show you that as well so it's bringing that warm air uh, underneath 
to the ground level where it's still cold up aloft and is, is turning the, the snow into regular rain before ground. And then when it hits ground, it freezes again because the ground is frozen already. So it's not like it needed to, to refreeze. It's already on frozen ground. So you can see how it brings heavy rain for, for East Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, and Northern Louisiana. I'll show you the numbers in a minute. It does bring heavier rainfall for y'all. So y'all will be in a flash flooding effect from this because it does stall for about 12 hours. It's almost like a stall effect when these two meet like this and it drags it back because it was the, it was the deepest trough. But when the next one moves in and becomes an even deeper trough, it kind of pulls this one back from going forward for a little bit. And it takes forever to get up over there. And then as it moves through, I will show you the amounts at the end. Uh, you got your snowfall going through everybody. You got your also the warm air and the dew points is going to be sucking all the way up to the north and the northeast. That's why y'all having this ice problem as well. It's not going to quit. It's going to just keep pulling that warm air all the way out as the uh, cold front brings the freezing air down. And then that's that's what you're going to have from that. So that's what that's going to be a pretty big deal as far as the flooding that going on. Now, if you look at uh, the dew point just from the Texas and you can see how in about three, four hours, the system starts pulling in and it starts pulling in this warm temperatures and these warm temperatures are going to flow with it as it goes north and it's going to stay up in the 30s and 40s and this is going to bring it down to uh, rain temperatures again where it won't be snow no more and it's going to freeze on contact as soon as it hits the ground uh, in this area especially for Kansas and Missouri but this is going to be flooding rain for Oklahoma and Arkansas. So please be aware that these temperatures are going to bring a bad problem as a flood watch will be in effect uh, for your area. Now you can see the instability with a divergence from the, the dew points and everything coming into the, the section with the, the Cape values. And you can see how the Cape values in the next 12 hours get way up there in high Louisiana. So this is really going to be nocturnal tornadoes, I think is what we're looking at, guys. It's going to be late tonight into tomorrow morning for the first and it's going to be pulling that instability all the way up with it. And there's going to be some flooding going on because of it. Now, if you look at the ice that's going to be, especially for Texas, because this is the main thing, is there a big snowstorm they're about to have, is y'all going to be getting uh, a, one section that's going to be getting heavy ice as the storm pulls away because of the warm moisture. Wherever it's closest to the center is pretty much where the warmest is going to be. And I'm showing you that is close to uh, east of Abilene, maybe west of, of Dallas, but Dallas, you might be in a flash uh, flood watch as well. But as we go into overnight until tomorrow, it shows that you get some very heavy amounts for uh, central Texas. Northern Arkansas is right when the, the temperature does change into freezing rain. And it's not a flooding problem, but all lower, all this section is all going to be flash flooding. So you need to watch out for that for the next 24 hours. Now, here's your snowfall, Texas. So you can see what's going on within the next 24 hours for you as this system does this, as it moves slowly around it's just swinging that moisture around and the freezing air is just freezing it for you and turning into snow so it would be a big significant uh flooding event but it looks like since the temperatures are around could we have that negative uh going on with it with the uh, osculation that it is turning to snow for you so you look at some good mounts i'm showing it's all the way down to 14 more inches of snowfall within the next 24 to 30 hours, especially for Southern Oklahoma, up to seven, eight inches. So that's pretty good for you as well. Now in six hours is when this starts, uh, divergence starts happening with the lift and it starts bringing the moisture in. And then and you can see by tomorrow that it spreads way north. And this is total precipitation, guys. This is gonna be flash flooding. And this is real close to Dallas. This is right to the east of Dallas, Texas. And you're talking almost three inches in some spots. Uh, 2.9 is the highest you see here, but also an inch and a half, inch and a quarter for Arkansas, portions of Oklahoma and southern Missouri, you're getting a little bit of an inch. Now, this is within a 24-hour period, so that, that's a lot of rainfall just within 24 hours. Now, if you look at the, the uh, Cape values that's going to be going for overnight tonight across Louisiana into tomorrow, you'll see that it does stretch out way high above Mississippi and Alabama. And then as it gets to the southeast, it, it weakens. That's because that low pressure system is getting far away and it's not pulling a whole bunch. But it still has a lot of instability going on where there could be some storms that pop up. But the chances for tornadoes that gets after that, that was for South Carolina, Georgia, uh, eastern Florida, 
I'm showing is diminishing quickly, guys. It really is. Now, watch again for the dew points. You can see it's already showed you Texas. This is where our system is, and it's pulling these warm dew points in from the Gulf. And you see how high up it really brings these. And you're going to be in the 40s, uh, 41 degrees, all the way west Arkansas. And that this is two meters, so it's going to be cold up air, air aloft. And you might even get some snowfall coming down. But that's going to freeze up into rain for you, especially in the 50s. That's going to be a flooding event. That, that won't even refreeze. And then you can see how high up it goes all the way up across the country with the warm air creating that ice storm for everybody getting ice. And it's going to drag all the way to the northeast and it'll be done with. So that is a lot of humidity, guys. I mean, that is just really bringing it up. Now, here's your freezing rain accumulation for the next 32 hours that you will be getting. And right now you are looking at Illinois where you are under ice storm warning up to an inch is what they're talking about. And I'm still showing that it, it's been showing for a few days now that when you get to Oklahoma and you go to Kansas, Kansas really has a problem uh, and Missouri uh, with this heavy ice storm because I've been showing for almost a week now it's been trending that y'all going to get over an inch of rain. I mean, over an inch of ice, guys. And this has been showing it for a long time now and it has not gone away. The area has kind of moved around. But it hasn't gone away. And now we're literally 32 hours, well, 24 hours away before this event starts for you. It's really going to be bad, too. And then you got the ice storm warning that is in Illinois. Now, for Missouri, this is your 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 ice that you're going to be getting, the freezing rain. Now, in 12 hours, it's going to start from right below you. And you're going to be in Arkansas. And it's going to come up to you in 18 hours and start putting some ice accumulation uh, from the freezing rain but in 24 hours for new years that's when the heaviest will be and it's still showing over an inch and it shows you and it also shows uh, kansas as the hot spot and then as it moves away late tomorrow afternoon it's going to be an illinois problem and then it's going to go and go away by the second now here's the freezing rain from the mid-atlantic i'm gonna run through these so y'all can see what's been going on for y'all I just really wanted to get that first part of that storm out of the way so everybody can see what's going on with this. And you can see how it is going across uh, by the tomorrow for New Year's. For, Indi for Indiana, Illinois, it will be Ohio, Pennsylvania. Michigan's getting in a lot of this, as well as New York. Now, I will do an update in the morning because I expect these numbers to change because this system will be slowing and it's going to take 24 hours just to get across to the, to the Arkansas line. So it's really going to be uh, almost like a stall effect. So we do have time for an update. That's why I'm just going quick with what I do show for y'all right now. And then this is the snowfall that's expected. Now by the 4th is when that second system does come in. And you know how I used to do it hurricane season. I'd like to show you what's coming in the future. Well, I'm just going to run this by as a future possibility. Just so you can see what could be coming. This is five days away. This is January 5th on Tuesday. And all this is subject to change, guys. We all know after three days, really after 24 hours. And it could be another heavy snowfall in the mixture. I'll give you a good look from the states so you can see everybody from east coast to west coast, what is possible to come within the next five to eight days, which is subject to change. But this is what could be in store for us. I did show you it is going to be system after system banging on the west coast, and it is going to be some problems. And that shows true. It looks like Connecticut, Maryland, New Jersey. Y'all could really be showing some snowfall. Now, let me go through these warnings, what y'all have real quick. Uh, if you made it this far, God bless you. It was a long video. I apologize. It just needed to be, be told. Now, Texas, you're under a winter storm warning. It is an effect in, of all of central Texas until 6 a.m. tomorrow. One to two inches of, of snow have already fallen across portions of the area. You can expect addition Additional moderate to heavy snow across the region over the next few hours. Uh, they have received reports of power outages in the city of Coleman from local emergency managers. We also have received reports of slick road conditions west of an Abilene to Ballinger to Barnhart line. Many roads will continue to de deteriorate with slick spots resulting from the, the snowfall. Uh, so that is the latest uh, as far as the snowfall conditions. So please be aware of that. I'm going to go through everybody's states real quick. Uh, except for the, the main thing, because these are going to change in the in the east. But in, uh, the, So Oklahoma, impactful snow and ice accumulation expected late today through early Friday. A winter storm warning remains in effect until noon on Friday. They got a heavy mix of precipitation, total snow of 2 to 4 inches, ice up to 2 tenths of an inch. 
Uh, higher amounts of snow of six inches are possible. It all depends. But as portions of central, northern, northwest, southwest, and western Oklahoma. Yeah, so be careful traveling if you're going to be traveling for New Year's. So that's what you have for Oklahoma. You also have the winter storm warning for Kansas and uh, Illinois as well. Winter storm warning from midnight tonight uh, till 6 p.m. on Friday. Uh, he heavy mixed precipitation, total snow of 5 to 7 inches. Uh, ice accumulations up to two tenths of an inch with wind gusts of 35 miles per hour. So that's for east central Kansas. And then also, we also have winter storm warning remains in effect from tonight from 3 p.m. till Friday. And, and this is also power outages and tree damages are likely due to the ice. So please be aware for this. This is all portions of central and northwest Missouri and west central Illinois. Uh, total snow up to an inch, but ice accumulations up to two tenths of, uh, to four tenths of an inch with wind gusts to 30 miles per hour. Now we do have an ice storm warning. Now this is all winter weather advisories for these states. That's all you see is winter weather advisories. It lets you know what's coming up to two tenths of an inch. Uh, of ice is, is coming for Indiana. You also got Ohio. You got a, a snow accumulations of an inch uh, with a, a several, let's see, what is it? Ice accumulations of several hundreds of an inch is expected of portions of north central, northeast, and northwest Ohio. So be aware, everybody has this ice, but like I said, I'm going to update it in the morning because I do expect this part to change. Now, uh, let me do the, the what you have for Illinois. Illinois, you have a ice and a snow accumulations likely. You have an ice storm warning uh, to late Friday night. A winter storm system is expected to bring mixed precipitation, including freezing rain and snow to the region late tonight through Friday. This system will track south to north with freezing rain expected on the leaving edge. As temperatures warm Friday morning, uh, rainfall will overtake freezing rain Ice accumulation is expected throughout much of the region with upwards of one-third of an inch between the Illinois River Valley region and I-55 corridor. But the ice storm warning remains in effect from 3 a.m. to 6 p.m. on Friday. Significant icing is expected. Total snow accumulations of up to one inch, but ice accumulations from three-tenths to four-tenths to up to an inch, up to an inch of ice. So those models are showing true, guys. We got to be aware of that. And you have your tornado warnings. You have the 2%, you have the uh, uh, 5%, and you have the 10%. And just so you can see exactly what those stand for, you have the enhanced. That's a 4 out of 10, guys, the orange. This is going to be nocturnal tornadoes. And then you have the moderate and the yellow. Then you have the marginal and the green. And you can see over here by South Carolina and North Carolina, they have some as well. That's because they have some thunderstorms happening over there, and they are in a 2% chance for tornadoes as well, not to mention some flooding issues going over the storm. Now, let me go ahead and play this for you so you can see everything that I just explained to you. You can watch it go in motion. And I like to pray that y'all be safe tonight. I really I really hope y'all be safe because I've, I've heard some bad things before from New Year's happening. Don't drink any drinks if you're old enough to drink. If you didn't see it get poured yourself, don't drink that drink. Because even my brother got slipped to Mickey and it almost put him in a coma. So, And he's a Marine guy. So hang tough, man. Don't, don't go nowhere you're not supposed to. God bless you all. Hope you have a very safe night tonight. Psalms 46. God is our refuge and strength. A very present help in trouble. Therefore will not we fear. Though the earth be removed and, th and through the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea. Though the waters thereof roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof, Salah. There is a river, the streams whereof shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacles of the Most High. God is in the midst of her, she shall not be moved. God shall help her, and that right early. The heathen raged, the kingdoms were moved, he uttered his voice, the earth melted. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Salah. Come, behold the works of the Lord. What desolations he hath made in the earth. He maketh wars to cease unto the end of the earth. He breaketh the, the bow and cutteth the spear in sunder. He burneth the chariot in the fire. Be still and know that I am God. 
I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Amen. Salah. God bless you all tonight. Hope you have a very safe night. Hope you have a very fun time tonight. Be safe in everything that y'all do. We got to keep up with this ice storm. This is still something. Okay, guys. All glory does go to God. Amen. God bless y'all tonight.